Hi everyone, this is Nancy, the nurse practitioner from Caregiver Success. Thank you for coming to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about uh, devices for hearing impairment. And I have invited a nice friend of mine named John Noonan from Clear Captions. And we're going to talk today about how words matter. I love that phrase. Um, and we're going to learn about how you can get involved with this program if you have a hearing impairment. So John, tell us all about the program. Thank you very much, Nancy. Clear Captions provides captioned telephones for people with hearing loss through the Americans with Disabilities Act. So that means if you have hearing loss, you can get a captioned telephone or a captioned application at no cost to you. Now, if you're familiar with watching television and seeing the captions at the bottom while the people are speaking, that's what the mm -hmm. captioned telephone does. So while the other person's speaking, it tells you what they're saying. You listen as you would normally would listen. You speak as you normally would speak. But if you miss a word, you can look down and see what the other person says. That's pretty cool, right? It's very cool. And you know what? My mother-in-law has a hearing problem. And um, I know that I'm going to be using you when she moves up in June. But I think she'll have to put her glasses on or make the font bigger, right, John? But you can make the font bigger on your screen. Absolutely. Uh, it is, uh, well, let me show you what the phone looks like. Yeah, let's see. That's what the phone looks like. And that's the real size. Mm -hmm. Right, there you go. And as you can see behind me, right here, there's a screen. And on the screen, as the people are speaking, you'll see the words. All right. Mm -hmm. And again, that's you great. can make the font larger. Let me tell you a little bit about my own experience, though, with hearing loss. Yeah. Um, about a year ago, uh, I uh, had a very sore throat and uh, being the lead singer in a band, that's not a good thing. So I went to the doctor and what happened was it turned out I had a virus and it damaged my auditory nerves. So I lost the hearing in my left ear, most of it anyway. Wow. And, and uh, so I got a hearing aid and it restored about 95% of my hearing. And the reason I bring that up is because I want people to understand that with today's technology, like the caption telephone, we can overcome some of these uh, health problems that we face. Yeah, and you know, if you don't have uh, the ability to communicate by by phone, sometimes you lose uh, touch and people become more disconnected. And it's like not being able to watch the news or not be able to hear your friends talking at a dinner table, or you start to just kind of isolate and not get all the information and you lose. Yeah. Um, Absolutely. Right. Isolation is a terrible thing, especially in today's world where we all know a lot of people were homebound. And uh, look, uh, you want to be able to have a conversation and understand what both sides are saying. It's very important. And you don't want to disconnect because that leads to other things. Isolation could learn uh, any hearing loss that you don't take care of. Most people will go and have uh, an examination. But mm -hmm. um, if you don't take care of that, it just progresses. Your cognitive abilities start to decrease. It may be an early, uh, early uh, bringing on early dementia. So you really need yes. to take care of it. Stay connected with family and friends because we're social animals. That's exactly true. So the other thing is, is if they don't have a home phone, what are the requirements, John, that you need to have in order to get this phone? Okay, three simple requirements. Number one, you have to have hearing loss and you can self-certify. Most people will then go to if they haven't already been to an audiologist we can recommend a few okay. uh there are certain uh in in our area or wherever they live mm -hmm. and uh the other thing is if you want the home phone as you see here there we go uh that is uh needs a telephone number to call it so you need a, a phone number and the third thing is internet access because it's the internet that carries those caption words to you now, if you don't have that and you have an iPhone, we can put that same application on the iPhone or the iPad. Mm -hmm. Let me show you what it looks like. Let's see if you can see that. So, oh yeah, that's great. Right, so as the other person speaking, again, you'll see the words that they're saying. You can save the conversations. Uh, there are other features like, uh, you know, speed dials and things like that. But um, if you have those three requirements, you meet uh, the needs of the program. Now, again, there's no cost because it's part of the Americans with Disabilities Act. The Americans with Disabilities Act uh, had uh, five titles. Title IV uh, created the Telecommunications Relay Service Fund. Not that you need to know all about that, but what it did 
was it uh, required all of the communication companies in the United States, uh, AT&T, Verizon, Frontier, to take a portion of their uh, proceeds and put it into this fund. As a matter of fact, if you check your uh, phone bill and you see that little line at the bottom that says universal services fee, mm-hmm. $0.08, cents, $1.50, that's what that is, and that's how clerk captions is paid. That's really cool. So there's a, there are some statistics we probably should go over. Um, according to the National Statistics, sorry, from John Hopkins Medicine and the Hearing Loss Association, they say that at age 65, which seems to be the magical age for everything <laughs> to happen, <laughs> that one in three people have a hearing loss. Um, I will tell you, my husband has a hearing loss. He tells me it's selective hearing. But <laughs> no, I do hear that a lot. And, and he was working with chainsaws in a tree business when he was in his 20s. And he went to a lot of rock concerts. Rock and concerts, yeah. nobody wore those little pegs in their ears. And nobody wore headphones when they mowed the lawn. And all that stuff that people do. And he, he, uh, he really does not hear me. But <laughs> <laughs> that means I could say things and he doesn't know what I say. Uh-oh. <laughs> no, well, you know. <laughs> but so, it, yeah, it this might be work. gradual. Yeah, it, it, it can be gradual. It could be gradual. You're right. I think he's really having trouble now, but eventually he might be like his mom and, and get hearing aids. Um, but I also noticed you had a video that I watched on your site on the clear caption site that younger people, not just 65, could actually have hearing impairments and they also could qualify for this. Right, John? Well, that's that's a great point. Um, as a matter of fact, there is no age limit for this program. Okay. The three requirements I told you about are the ones that uh, make it necessary to, in, order, in order to use the applications. Now, just by chance, the youngest person that I've installed a phone for is seven years old. She had a cochlear implant, mm-hmm. and this phone and the application on the iPhone helped her out immensely. And then the oldest person that I've installed a phone for is 101. Cool. Wow. <laughs> so you see, that runs the gamut. And that's great. That kept her very connected, I'm sure, because at 101, there's other things she probably can't do, but at least if she could, you know, talk to her friends and family, that's, that's really great. So this is a federal program, correct? And it doesn't cost anything if you qualify, right? right. And the FCC, which is the... Federal Communications Commission. Commission. So it's yeah, federally yeah. funded for all of Americans all over the country, including Hawaii and Puerto Rico. And John works in Connecticut, but he'd be willing to help you if you live in another state. I actually just got a referral from somebody in in New York yesterday just by talking to a friend who has a friend who can't hear and needs a phone like this. You know, Nancy, it's it's unbelievable that this program has been out there and it's not well known because why wouldn't you take advantage of it? It's such a great technology. Let me show you this. Uh, I think that's a little closer if I can show you that where the uh, screen is. Yep. That looks good. I could, we can yeah. see. And you know what? Why don't you give us your information, John, while we're at it, just so sure. we know how we can contact you. You're okay with us contacting you as our as our warm connector? There you go. Yes, please call me. It's John Noonan. 203-581-0382. Call anytime. You can also reach me via email at john.noonan, N-O-O-N-A-N, at clearcaptions, with an S, dot com. And I will make sure that the local representative takes care of you. That's the way. That's to do great. It. So one more thing. I know that there are also some because people like to like learn as they go, and their seminars are actually learning tips, right? Right on the and phone. Another good point. Yes, the phone has built-in videos on how to use it. So if you're like That's me great. and you read the directions and you say what? So you can watch <laughs> these videos. That sounds like me. <laughs> <laughs> They're very easy uh, to understand. They walk you right through the process of, let's say, adjusting the volume or uh, enlarging the font or any of those uh, functions are in there. And you're going to come out, John, or somebody that's a representative from another state to the home? Tell us about how that works real quick. Yeah, we become your personal representative. We come Good. out to the home. We install the phone for you. We show you how to use it. As I uh, have mentioned, I'm available. I put my telephone number into the phone so that if anybody has a question or an issue, they can call me directly. Great. If I'm not available for any reason, there is customer support seven days a week. So there's always somebody to help you out. And it's safe and secure, right? Because the FCC has backed it up, correct? Absolutely. 
Absolutely. Okay. The privacy is utmost. Uh, of, of, it's very important to us, your privacy. Okay, this is really great. Well, so everybody, I also have a Facebook page called facebook.com caregiver success. I will put uh, a little zip drive on there with information about how to reach John, his website, the phone number, and some of the information he sent me so you can understand about clear captions. You could also go to clearcaptions.com and look at the product yourself. But call John because he's a nice guy and he will help you <laughs> find the right rep and you'll get the service you deserve so that you can hear your family and friends and stay connected. So from Nancy, the nurse practitioner from YouTube at Caregiver Success, thanks for joining us for Clear Captions today. And thanks, John, for being here. Nancy, thanks for getting the word out. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Take care now.